Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to my youtube channel i am snagla and we are making a unity 3d racing game series so this is our fifth tutorial so we are developing a main menu for our game so in further more steps so we have just created our uh, main menu like this and uh, now we are going to do is uh, uh, modifying it and making uh, more enhancing it so first uh, uh, this tutorial is about uh, that uh, I want to tell you that the thing I have an idea the when we click on the start game uh, a panel will uh, uh, pop up from the left to right side and uh, this all main menu uh, like in canvas this all main menu will be uh, will uh, disappear this one whole so for this uh, thing we are going to make uh, animation of the panel and the second thing uh, we are setting up our uh, uh, animated controller and uh, then uh, obviously creating a script that we control this animation and the whole the whole function and setting a little bit uh, around this start game on click function this component button function so first uh, we will create animation and uh, just uh, go and click on the ui and we create a panel and this panel will be something like this Then we will make sure that it is in the middle so like this we will play this one ok the other thing we are going to do is uh, select this panel go to the window and uh, in the animation and create this one animation and here it will create the animation but uh, first we need to create here a new folder uh, press control shift plus new a new folder and it will be the animation animations and open this folder and we will name it uh, Panel animation. Click save. Just click on enable the keyframe recording mode. Select the time. We'll select the one second. And okay, okay. First, we need to move this here. And now click uh, enable the and just go to the okay and just uh, play this one and animation will look like this just disable cancel this one and now we have created our animation in the animation folder this is the animator controller it will automatically create on this panel you can see this is the animated controller and this is our animation just uh, uh, rename it uh, car selection car selection panel and we will rename it also car selection panel and uh, the other thing we are going to do is we are creating a empty game object like this one we created and this will be the uh, start uh, 
game button function and uh, in our uh, scripts we'll create a C sharp script and uh, we will name it uh, start game functions it will be a lot of functions just uh, open it in our uh, uh, visual studio it will take a little time but don't worry so here we will uh, first we need to create a game objects two two game objects first will be the uh, public uh, game object and will be the our main menu disappearing and the other one will be the will also be public also game of uh, sorry also game object and it will be the car car selection panel and we will create uh, a separate uh, function which will be uh, the public and it will be also white and uh, we name it uh, uh, start game functioning start game functioning and uh, here we will first we need to disable the main menu and uh, main menu disabling the set dot set active and uh, it will be false so it will uh, disappear or we, it will uh, unactive the main menu which is this one this one and the other thing we want to play the animation so animation will be on the play animation is on the uh, car selection panel so dot will get the component of uh, animator like here uh, this is our uh, car selection panel and we uh, added this animator so, so all these uh, uh, the rec transform uh, canvas render image animator these all uh, the components of this uh, game object so we need to um, get to it so with the code we'll, uh, we'll uh, dot uh, get component we'll get the component which one the animator so any animator and uh, this is our function and we'll play the uh, from this component the animation which we have is uh, panel animation so here just save it and head back to unity and uh, uh, first we need to go to this start button function we will add the script ok there is the error here ok sorry we need to write it in uh, inverted type in inverted commas and uh, the other thing uh, this empty game object uh, this game object we add the script to this one 
and we'll add main menu display this is the here and uh, the cost selection panel which is here and uh, just uh, we need to go to start game and here we add uh, this start game function and we'll select the function which we created which is the uh, start game functioning and uh, other things select the cost selection panel to the animator and cost selection animator. So here we need to do is uh, we will uh, make this state empty and uh, we name rename it like uh, zero one and uh, we create an another state which will be our. Uh, panel like the uh, same name panel animation and uh, here the state was uh, add this animation play panel animation and uh, click on the animation and we will uh, uncheck the loop time that uh, the animation should not play again and again and uh, from this we will get this uh, animation so all is set and well just play it and let's see what happened when i click on start button it will disappear and this panel is pop up from the left to right but we want to back to main menu so we cannot go because we did not scripting it so uh, just go to our script and first we do I will click I will press escape button and then this panel will uh, disappear and uh, again the main menu main menu will, uh, will show so this uh, this function will do is in uh, update function that uh, we want to uh, 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 play this function again and again so first we need to if condition will add if condition and it will be the input we will get the input from the user dot uh, get key and uh, in brackets we will get key code and we will uh, dot and we will find the escape button and uh, this is our condition and uh, when we press escape button what will happen the thing which happened the main menu disappearing dot set active it will become uh, true and uh, our card selection panel dot uh, set active it will also be uh, it will become false because it is active now it will be deactivated so here i want to show you guys the uh, thing just uh, head back to unity our unity and uh, let's play it and, uh, when I click start button all function will play fine and uh, when I press escape button that uh, the panel is uh, uh, gone and our main menu is again here but when I press again start button the panel does not appear because we have uh, deactivated it permanently uh, permanently here so in our this in this function we want to always uh, make the uh, cost selection panel uh, set it always uh, true so when these uh, two uh, lines will play uh, uh, lines uh, uh, will do their work uh, from uh, from uh, before these uh, 
do any function or anything that uh, this line will uh, um, play uh, or do function which we have added in this statement so just save it and head back to unity when I play uh, again press on start game panel appear when I press escape button panel disappear and uh, and when I again play the start then panel will uh, so another thing I want to do is uh, I want to pick animation like uh, uh, it should move from the right to left so this will be the uh, code so again we will select the car selection panel and uh, car selection panel then go to window and make another animation oh, sorry we need to select this one car selection panel win animation and this animation and uh, this is a panel animation we we'll want to create a new clip and we'll uh, save it lies uh, panel animation uh, CO2 and uh, go to our scene Here the animation will be like uh, uh, I think it's fine here so just uh, enable it and uh, we'll make the animation like this and uh, just uh, animation is saved and uh, we can rotate uh, here just go to our uh, uh, this one and this is the play animation 2 go to play animation 2 exit the loop, loop time and uh, what we could as panel animation 0 2 in our script I want to play the uh, first I want to play the animation and uh, then uh, I will uh, just copy it from here and I want to play the animation which is uh, 0 2 so just save it and uh, back to unity and uh, uh, just play it so hope so it work correctly so it's pop up when I press escape Okay, so first we need to make sure uh, if I add yield dot uh, hmm, what will do uh, new. second 
uh, I think we should uh, this uh, remove this line and just save it and uh, back to unity and just play again so I press uh, start game it appear when I press escape the animation disappear start game But the thing I want that uh, when I press uh, it's come but when it's gone that uh, it's look like uh, I think the uh, sheet new sheet bit uh, I just can't remember it yield return yield return return new wait for seconds like this Wait for seconds. Uh, we want to cut this one and we add this line after this animation and let's see what uh, happened. Press escape button so it is working like this. Uh, we need to add uh, wait for a second, like we are uh, sorry. Need Wait for seconds and seconds will be the one second. Store game function breaker will be a iterator. So I think uh, uh, we will finish this tutorial here and uh, um, I think we made a good progress here that uh, function will and we will add uh, more things to this one. So guys uh, uh, okay, uh, like comment and share uh, my video and please subscribe my channel and uh, this is uh, i want from you and click icon and uh, we'll meet again inshallah in